What up, man? Also, your boy, Shaka Dreesley from Manosos.com, and here we go with the Ice Bowl number six in a tournament for $50. It actually was a small tournament for Xbox One. It actually was a lot bigger for PS4, and we're finally done. We are in the finals. Our next tournament is going to be the Super Bowl tournament, and it's going to be actually for a $100 prize. Registration will be available at MaddenAllStars.com, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you guys want to go ahead and enter some free tournaments on Xbox One and PS4, for so here we go we're playing uh with a bunch tight end and we're playing with my super custom actually and uh i'm just uh working on passing the ball as you guys can see here i'm really composed i'm looking for my open receivers and i'm running the ball as well i'm just combining it really good and i feel really good right now just moving and moving the ball it's actually four than one but we get a first down we're coming out right here in the big formation there we go we got wide wide open making my reads making it perfect we got around five yards to go or nine yards to go to score a touchdown and we're looking at the middle of the field and he got me here i'm gonna go ahead and admit that I don't even know why I threw that pass, but I made a wrong read, and he got me there uh, for a pick. So now it's his turn to score, and I'm going to go ahead and try to... <laughs> I'm trying to just freaking strip the ball here. Now, this, the thing about the ice is it's really awesome. It's something new, and there's people sliding all over the place. It makes it hard to catch the ball. Players, sometimes uh, they drop the ball because their hands are cold, and just a lot of things can happen, and here we go, and he gets another first down. So... Um, he's moving the ball pretty good playing with those Dallas Cowboys, man. And unfortunately, the Dallas Cowboys, um, you know, they lost already. And the Seahawks might, uh, made it to Super Bowl. Seahawks and New England. But I think the Seahawks, Seahawks are actually going to win again and going to repeat and going to win two Super Bowls. I don't see New England being strong enough to beat uh, the Seahawks, man, because the Seahawks just made a super crazy, insane comeback, man. What do you guys think about that? Man, I, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick video about this dude that was raging hard with the Green Bay Packers. But uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, come out right here on... Uh, on uh, the third quarter, he already scored a field goal, and we're here in the third quarter. He's throwing this. I'm playing cover three, guys. So he's throwing these little smoke screens here, here and there. And he's actually, you know, doing a pretty good job of just moving the ball consistently again with a smoke screen. So that means I'm going to have to adjust because uh, he's getting too comfortable throwing those things. So I'm losing 10-0 to in this game. I can't believe it, man. I'm going to post my first loss here. My first loss that I'm going to post of the year, guys. I can't believe it. I'm losing 10-0. I'm with the Seattle Seahawks, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and try to lurk over here. He's still running the ball. I threw another pick, and I'm here. He's uh, pushing it and pushing it. And I don't even know what to do now. We got three minutes, two minutes left in the third quarter. And he's still moving the ball. He's still throwing to the flats. Uh, he's still doing... The same thing. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and adjust and put some people right here in uh, in flat zones because he keeps throwing those freaking wheel routes or the or the hitch routes right here with a wide receiver. Again, he comes out. He's blocking everybody. We send the blitz here. That was a really good call. Even though he was blocking, you guys notice that he was blocking the running back. Yet still, we got the nice edge blitz. He settles for a field goal. Then we got 3 minutes and 53 seconds left to go in this clock. And I'm down 13-0, to guys. I'm sorry, man. Sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm losing. It looks like this is going to be the first loss of the season. And uh, here we go. Some some of you guys tell me you never post loss, man. I, I'll post a loss, man. If I lose, I lose. I'll post it if it's a really good game. If it's a blowout, I don't want to go ahead and bore you. But definitely, I could talk about some of the mistakes I'm doing here. Uh, sure enough, I made them. Uh, the, I couldn't adjust to the smoke screens. But now I'm running the ball down the middle. Effectively, we got three minutes left. And here we go. Coming out of that tie. Now we're mixing it up. Going a little bit of quick no huddle. There we go. We got Bowen open right here on the right side. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, that was supposed to be a run. Uh, I decided to... Uh, I just had to run it with Wilson Wilson there. We're coming out of the Philly scheme. Here we go. We got that drag. Third and three. And uh, next coming up, we need to run it right here. Just quickly quarterback sneak and we're gonna go ahead and keep moving the ball we got a first down first and ten here we go coming across the field we got russell wilson so we could use his legs why wide, wide open wow really nice tight catch and we're gonna go ahead and run up the gut with our fat ass fullback right here and we're gonna go go for two here we go circle wide open or b wide open so i'm used to ps4 anyways let's go for the onside kick i told you guys how to use onside kick i'm using the same concept you get it 70% of the time and here we got it 
when we need it, we always get that field goal. Man, I'm telling you guys, every time I do it, the onside kick, you want to know how to do it, guys. Every time I do it, for some reason, I get it back 70% of the time. Doesn't mean I kick onside kicks the whole entire game, but the concept that I use always works for me when I need it. So I got the ball back, 13-8, 18 seconds left on the clock. Here we go. It looks like we got a note. We're going to go ahead and run it with Russell Wilson, and we get the first down. We got 14 seconds, 13 and 8. We're going to run the ball over here to the left. Yes, we're going to go ahead and waste some time, run it up the gut. We redirect the running back to run it down the middle. Nine seconds left on the clock, second and two. Let's go ahead and get the first down. And there we go. We push it in. And we're winning in this game, 14 to 13. Let's go for two. Look at this, zone killer. There we go. We got it. Tight ends get wide open. We get the nice two-point conversion up by three points. We're going to go ahead and just celebrate with his defensive formation. Going three-man deep. He's just going to give up. He's going to run the ball. He's not even going to try. He already knew that the game was over, man. But everything good happened, man. Hey, you guys thought I was going to lose. Guess what? I made a really nice comeback. Hope you guys like this game. Hope you like this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more gameplays like this, guys. And if you guys want to go ahead and play me, let me know here in the comment section. Hey, what do you guys think about the Seahawks and Patriots? Who is going to win? If you guys get the score, I'll give you $100, man. One of you guys have to get... No, not $100. I'll give you a free something. Let me know what you guys want. What can I give you? A premium membership? Anything? Let me know here what you guys want. $100 to the winner who gets the score correct starting this week until there's your boy shocker to hasty for Bye. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy shocker 360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.